All right, guys, so what a crazy day it's been so far. So first of all, I get to work this morning, and like as soon as I get to work, I check my phone and I see that EA Sports PGA Tour has put out the patch notes for the update that went live earlier this morning. I'm like, no, that's the worst timing ever. I just got to work. I work 10 hour shifts. I have an hour commute in, so it's gonna be like at least 11 hours before I can even get home and start recording. Then I get home and my Husky mix pup, Nymeria, she had, she got sick in her crate and she was just the most disgusting I had ever seen a dog be. So I had to give her a bath. I had to wash out her crate. Then, of course, I needed to shower. And then right now, my house is like in the middle of a monsoon where I live. Like, it's hail basically hailing outside. We're in 50 mile an hour winds. There's a tornado watch and things are just crazy. But the main thing today is that, like I said, EA Sports PGA Tour did put out the patch notes for an update that went live this morning. So... What I want to do is I want to attack this kind of like I did in the uh, update video that I did last week or the week before. And I just want to go through the patch notes and read to you guys exactly what's in this update. But first of all, I want to ask you guys a question and I want you guys to comment in the comment section below. Where are you... How are your feelings towards the development team at this point in time? Are you on the side where you feel like all of these things should have been fixed before the game was even released in the first place and you have little to no patience? Or are you a little bit more patient with everything and are you willing to, you know, I guess just give the team a little bit more leeway and are you just like excited that they're listening to the fan base and you'll just take whatever you could get at this point in time or do you f fall somewhere in the middle? So let me know in the comments how you guys feel, but let's dive into the patch notes. Let's go through it. Some of them are very minute um, and I might skip over a few. We'll see how it goes, but let's start here. So they go. The newest update to EA Sports PGA Tour is set to go live today as it already has. Alongside a variety of planned content, this update addresses a few community requests such as the new fast play presentation settings, green grid changes, and a variety of other updates. Below is the full list of changes coming into the game for this update. Stay tuned to our Twitter, all of our social media, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the biggest content uh, update or feature in this update, in my opinion, is the three-click swing. I think out of all of the comments I got on that uh, update video that I posted like a week or two weeks ago, I think the most requested thing I saw was the three click. Um, so that is live in this update. So if you guys haven't booted up your PS5, you haven't updated uh, the game to the latest version, three click swing is now available. So it says, note that with the return of three click, keyboard support for left stick and right stick swing mechanics have been removed. They go on to provide a fair experience for all players. Note that certain tournaments and online events now have swing mechanic requirements to ensure that you only compete against players who have opted to use similar swing mechanics. Bang, two thumbs up for me. Um, I don't really think I'm going to be messing around with three click swings, um, but for those of you that have been wanting that, hopefully that this is exactly what you need like hopefully they nailed it hopefully they they did all the difficulty settings correctly with the online uh gameplay and stuff like that uh new visual settings fast play okay enable or disable an alternative presentation package that skips certain cinematic cinematics such as player reactions for a fast-paced gameplay experience pretty self-explanatory so a lot of people were saying the rounds were taking way too long this is a way to kind of go if you're playing full rounds this is a way to kind of go through those full rounds even quicker uh, and quick play as well putt meter now so enable or disable the putting feedback meter that is displayed on the ground during gameplay. So I've heard already that having this off is difficult. Um, obviously, it's going to provide for a more realistic experience, um, a more of a true sim type of feel. I don't know if there's vibration even to where your power meter needs to be if your uh, put putting meter is off, but... That's just going to be a kind of wait and see on that one, but definitely going to be more difficult. So for those of you who are saying that the game is too easy, even on the hardest difficulty settings, there you go. This should help make it a little bit harder. Button hints now. 
Those were all those like little button bars on the bottom left uh, corner of the screen. Let's see if they're down here. No, they took them off. Um, enable or disable these now. Okay, so they gave us the option to turn them off. Putting grid improvements. In order to help with ball visibility, improve immersion. They love saying, they love using that word immersion. Like that's their favorite word to say, I've realized. <laughs> and respond to player feedback. The putting grid now quickly fades out after the ball is hit. Let's go. Uh, fix issue. This is even bigger in my opinion. Fix issue where putting grid bead lines sometimes run in the opposite direction of the break. Great. So hopefully no more ghost breaks. Uh, here's what gameplay will look like after these updates. So there you go. You got the button hints off in the bottom left corner of the screen. Um, but the green grids are still on here, obviously, because the character has not putted the ball yet. So we're just kind of seeing the button hits, button hints off. Let's continue. Fix an issue where the visual representation of the cup was slightly larger than its actual size in physics. Now instances where it appeared that the ball rolled over the edge of the cup when it should have lipped in will no longer occur. So yeah, basically the cup was bigger than it should have been and where it looked like it should have lipped in, really it should have been rolling over grass. But visually it looked like it was rolling over the hole when it uh, actually wasn't. Uh, chip shot type now always defaults to the shortest available club so that it aligns with how it is most commonly used and to help new players better utilize the shot. Yeah. And, and that's going to help me out because I think I must've been chipping with a, you know, the wrong club the whole time. So that's definitely going to help for that shot. I really have never chipped to be honest. I, and maybe this will kind of help me get into it. Um, Excuse me. They fixed a bug where cycling through shot types and gameplay would sometimes select the wrong shot type rarity. A variety of apparel and gear has been added to the store, including hats, shoes, drivers, and more. Cool. Um, so there's some more new added features in the game rather than just bug fixes. Uh, shot types explanation graphic added to scorecard menu. So there's an actual shot of that right here. So they give basic just definitions of what each shot type is. So if you're kind of unfamiliar with what a stinger is, there you go. It's going to tell you now in the pause uh, scorecard menu. Okay, let's continue on. Fixes in UI navigation. Now, private match event info screen which is also referred to as the EIS. Round settings subtab disappear if the host enters into the EIS lobby again from the guest profile invite game option. Um, okay, let's just kind of scroll through these. Now, these are very specific bug fixes. Uh, private, private match again, EIS screen. Game modes disappear from FE if the host enters into the EIS lobby from guest profile invite game options. Uh, the player is taken into quest instead of private match. The contents from the pending tab is moved to the seasonal tournaments tab after playing a tournament. No hints on the leaderboard sub tab while playing online modes. Um, uh, amateur leaderboard. Unable to scroll back to the top after the user scrolls to the last. So these are very small, but fixes, you know, fixes that the team has noticed. And that's great that um, these are th probably some things that players maybe didn't even bring to their attention, but they're fixing anyways. Um, let's see if any of these are things that, um, okay, store preview button has function functionality when buying tickets, despite the button not being displayed on the screen. So now it actually works. Uh, okay. All right, let's continue on to career. Fix situations when players were not receiving the open achievement after winning the event in a playoff. Okay, that's nice. Intro banners now show score for golfers who have not teed off yet. So yeah, I believe it just used to show the time that you were teeing off, but not what your score was if you were obviously in round two or later. Uh, challenges, automatically skip player reaction. NIS and shot based challenges uh, around the green challenge two can be completed now. So apparently that was just completely broken. Fixed issue in challenges where the star for make a putt could be earned with a pitch shot. Uh, in game widget for challenges now updates when the second challenge is completed. Okay, nice. Uh, fixed issue where rewards were not given in Cobra sponsor challenges. So go ahead and do Cobra now if that's what, uh, if you guys wanted to do that before. 
Tournaments. Added indication to rewards containing tournament tickets so it is clear how many are received. Tournament rewards pack. Now show the appropriate rarity. Uh, fixing an issue where a tournament will not register the entry if the user has no entry finishing. Okay, courses and branding. Now this one I feel like is kind of interesting. Uh, added correct pine straws on the right of hole 10 Augusta and tune some collisions on trees. So just those little details making Augusta. They're, you can tell they're just trying to nail that and give you like a perfect experience. And I love that. That's great. Keep it coming. Here's some more. Uh, removed floating pine straws at Augusta hole 18. Nice. Banded dunes. Incorrect shader on fountain grass. Okay. Fixes and commentary. Hole 17 whistling straights. Updates to USGA, US Open, and FedEx St. Jude Championship logos. Cool. Uh, online, fix an issue where, re where remote players' golf clubs would not match their golfers' animation. Fixed an online issue where backing out of EIS screen while a countdown is in progress will load the users in a wrong course next time they match, make, in competitive mode. All right. Cameras. Fix for unplayable lie animations when the camera was placed in areas that blocked visibility. Uh, and adjustments to signature beauty cameras. Cool. So they're just kind of improving the overall presentation with the, uh, you know some better cameras there. Main menu. Update feature panel in the main menu to, su to support uh, showing server-driven content, fixing purple lights and seams appearing on golfer and main menu. Okay, but I'm not sure that's going to address the laser in the uh, Scotty Scheffler's eyes. I don't think I've seen that on here yet. Uh, let's see if any of else of these, I mean, all these are, you know, I don't want to, I don't think I want to go mouse. They, they added more mouse support for PC players and then they have some miscellaneous stuff there. So, um, I'll leave that right here. If you guys want to pause the video and just kind of read those for yourself. But so that's the update that they put out today. So let me know what you guys feel. Uh, how do you feel after hearing all these updates that they put in today? Are there some things that you uh, maybe addressed in my last video that they didn't address here? 60 FPS, maybe. That is something, obviously, that they're still planning on doing. Um, they did not mention 60 FPS, though, in that last update. Uh, what was it? The community feedback post that they made. They did not mention it at all. However, I do believe they did say that it eventually will come. But the fact that it was not in that post makes me wonder really how soon it's going to be. So um, let me know in the comments. Like I said in the beginning of the video, like where do you guys stand with the development team? Are, are you patient? Are, do you have patience with them? Maybe, maybe not. Where do you guys fall? And then also the issues that you guys have been experiencing. Do you think that this update is going to fix mostly or all of those issues that you've been experiencing or not let me know in the comments below but that's it make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest news from ea sports pga tour peace out